Ajole don't go da bile, bile la boss in your co. Ah, we know Lumbuba. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. This one goes to all my fellow Africans. <laughs> Living far away. Far away. Far and away from their hometown. Hello viewers at home, my name is uh, Akinwale Ojomo. I welcome you to another session of uh, Global Culture. And uh, like I mentioned before, that these sessions uh, for the remaining part of the year, December, uh, we're going to be talking about giving and the holiday. You know, talk about and bring, you know, guests who have been doing wonderful things in the community, you know, giving back to the community in their different ways. So tonight, I welcome uh, a gentleman right here, a man of God. Uh, sir, can you tell our audience, uh, what's your name, sir? Thank you. My name is Pastor John Odukoya. And uh, what's the name of your ministry and church? The ministry is the Fountain of Life Grace Springs Church. Uh, we are located in, on 8615 McLean Avenue in Glenarney, uh, Maryland, 20706. Okay, wonderful. Okay, can you tell us more about your ministry? How long ago did you start and uh, what has been your focus, especially in this time of giving? Actually, this December is going to be our third year since we started the church. And principally, what we believe so much is that uh, we need to be able to go out and impart the community. Right. Uh, the relevance of a church is not important when we stay within the confines of our church, but we need to take, come out of the walls of the church and let the world see exactly who we are, what we do. So having said this, uh, we started up by having monthly community outreach at the Bowie Library. Okay. That we did for about a year. Wow. And then we graduated out of that little space and we moved to, right now we've been having things uh, which is community health fair every last weekend in August okay. at the Duval High School uh, gym, as well as uh, the Joy of Giving, right. which this one is going to be the third one since we started the church. And what we do is that we give to the community in time of this in this time of economy where a lot of people can hardly really afford a lot of uh, necessities we give things right ranging from grocery from raw food fish all the way to dry pasta beans and rice and and cereal conflicts and all through to clothing and shoes and toys and and the, the hygiene products wow, wow. and this we give for free because we know that that's a little way to just uh, show our concern to the masses. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. That's a lot of long list. And I can see right here on the, on the flyer, that's a flyer right here, about the event that is scheduled for Saturday, December the 17th. Exactly. And uh, can you please uh, tell our audience more on when you started this, uh, of course, uh, you mentioned about the things you, you are giving away. Uh, what is your focus? I mean, what was your goal of outreach at that time? Actually, our goal then, as well as now, has always been that uh, how will the people outside listen to you if they don't know that you really care? Okay. That is the way to show that we care about our community. We know that this global meltdown is not affecting just one section. It's something that is global and it's affecting every part. Right. It is a non-discriminating uh, uh, situation. Uh, black, white, Hispanic, Latino, all of us are very much involved in this. We continue to see the rate of foreclosure and the rate of retrenchment from jobs. Right. Uh, people have been pounding the gate at the doors of the, of the church office asking for ways to be helped. And to this, if, uh, to this extent, part of what we do is that we allow for people uh, subject to qualification to be able to come to the church office okay. and shop Free, grocery free for uh, to shop for grocery for free. Okay, okay. Every two weeks. Okay. So we do this on Fridays. Every other Friday, people come in and shop, but they will they will need to be able to. It's income qualification, qualification based. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, right. And then we, we apart from that, uh, we we give up clothes and shoes and all that. Uh, the Bible says that uh, pure and undefiled religion is such that takes care of the widows, the, the orphan, and the strangers. Right, and right. if we see our neighbors that is hungry and naked, and we just say that, well, be well, I'm the fed in Jesus' name, without first providing the necessities that the body needs, how can they really sit there and listen to what we have to teach or preach? Wow, wonderful, wonderful. That's a whole, a, you know, huge uh, information out there to see, you know, the good things you're really doing in the community. And for people listening out there who are really interested to Part of this, uh, what is the information you need to give? I know uh, at the end of this, uh, just viewers at home, just to let you know, at the end of this, uh, there will be a credit line about the information about the church, 
uh, the address, uh, the information about this uh, upcoming event on this Saturday as well, how you can attend to be able to, to benefit uh, in this. So, uh, Pastor, in doing this, uh, do you have partners? Uh, what are your sources in making sure you are able to continuously deliver on this, uh, on this promise of yours? Thank you. As a non-profit 501c3 organization, we have opportunity to partner with bigger organizations right. like the World Vision has been one of our very strong supporters. Okay. Uh, we have the Gift in Kind International. We have the Food Capital Region Food Bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, just the list goes on. Goes on right, uh, yeah. We can't limit to just one and be able to have enough like we do. Right, so right. we continue to research and continue to apply and link up with these people. We receive these. It costs money sometimes, but mm -hmm. it will be just like penny on a dollar. Right. And that we need to be able to have enough place and to buy equipment to be able, like the refrigerator, the freezers, and the, to create the stands and the racks. So we, we do all that just to be able to reach out to our community right. with the love of Christ. Right, right. And uh, in reaching out to the community, uh, what are the demographics? I mean, I know you mentioned, you know, uh, at this time the economy does not discriminate. It's so, not discriminate. So, yeah, yeah. you know, so could you tell our viewers at home, you are welcome at this time? Well, it's open to the public. Okay. And when it's open to the public, we do not have any form of discrimination. It, we are all going through the situation that we are in, not called, not due to any of our faults. Right. Yeah, but so we, we, we serve the Latino, we serve the black, we serve the foreign one, we serve the white. Right. And we there's no discrimination. discrimination. And we see people from different colors of race and all races comes in there. Right, and, right. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, you mentioned that, of course, you have to make sure there's an income qualification. Yeah, for some of the things that we do. Okay, exactly. Okay. And uh, for our viewers at home out there, uh, I, I'm going to announce that uh, the joy of giving, which I like the name very much because this is the season of giving and it really allies with uh, what we're trying to really do here at Global Culture for December. Uh, joy of giving is scheduled to be on Saturday, uh, December the 17th. And the timing uh, is from 1 p.m. To, to 5 p.m. To, to 5 p.m. And uh, Q, uh, what if anybody is watching now and they have, of course, they have a pen and paper to, to come to this event, what is their expectation? Well, one additional thing that we have this time that we, we don't do always okay. is that we have toys for the kids. Wow, okay. So uh, if parents come and they have kids, they, I would, we would like for them to bring these kids. So we can number them and make sure we give them all toys. toys. They can go wrap it and put it under the tree, whatever it is they want to do. Right. Uh, that is part of what we'll do. But anyone that comes that day will be able to go home with a bag of grocery. Okay. They'll be able to pick one or two uh, maybe blouse or skirt okay. or okay. pants and, and shoes. shoes. All that we have is going to be for everyone that comes. And there won't be anyone that will leave empty. Okay. Thank you. Because you mentioned, uh, of course, skirts and blouse, you know, so if a parent or if a family, say, kind of a family affair, so to speak. So right. if a family comes, each uh, unit of the family, the dad, the mom, the kids, they will be able to have something to take home. Is that what you're definitely. saying? Definitely. Every member of the family that show up there will either have, they, definitely they will have grocery, okay. the young one will have toys, and the adults will have either uh, shirt and, and slack, okay. skirt, suits, or just the top. top. And on top of that, they'll be able to go home with hygiene products like the diapers and the cleaning solutions and all that. We have everything. Okay. And uh, just uh, because this is the season of giving, and I know some viewers at home will be watching this program and saying, oh, how can I help? How can I do this? Uh, so what do you tell them? Actually, we're, we're still looking for people to volunteer. Okay. And, and a situation like that, experience has taught us that people come in and uh, not everybody really wants to just grab something that they need. A right. lot of people want to take much more than they can handle. Right. And we do not want a situation whereby some people will take too much and some will come and don't have enough. Right. So we want to be able to be orderly. We want to arrange it in a way people come in first. They will have to sign, register, and right. then we'll g assign them uh, cards, one for grocery, one for toys, and the other one for non-food products. Okay. So they can now go, they will t tender these cards. And that is what they will use like a ticket to shop. To shop so okay. once one person finishes shopping, they can just go straight. It's going to be a way we process it in a way that once they finish shopping, they can go. And so the others can come and get something. Oh, wow. 
wow, okay. So, uh, in a sense, are uh, you looking for volunteers? Definitely, we're looking for, for volunteers. volunteers. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay, and people who will come and, you know, spend their time and, you know, help in the logistic of the day. So, if you are really interested in to be a volunteer, like I mentioned, at the end of this uh, show, we have uh, the name of the church, uh, the, uh, the phone number, and uh, how you can contact them. So, that way they can schedule you to, you know, be part of this uh, joy of giving. Yes. Uh, we're going to have Joy of Giving on Saturday 17th right. of 2011. Right. Now, can you walk us through, fast forward, next year, what is it that you want to have that is not going to be in this year? In terms of products? Yeah, in terms of products, in terms of how you, I mean, maybe the capacity, in terms of how many number of people you intend to serve, you know, in terms yeah. of how you want to make it better. Yeah, well, next Every year we've been having more people. Okay. okay. So, and I'm, I, I believe that next year, God's willing, we're still going to be having it where we, we're still going to have it where we're about to have it this time because okay. it's going to be at the gym. Gym, okay. So it's quite spacious. Okay. But uh, with time, we'll run out of space, space there right. as well. Right. Uh, just like we, we, we realized at the last week in August last year, okay. when we had the uh, community health fair. Right. I believe the 27th of August was when we had the hurricane. Right. <laughs> but yeah. even despite that, we were, we were looking at about 15 to 1,800 people, but we still wow. experienced over 800 people oh, wow. came despite the hurricane. Wow. So I know that definitely next year for the August event is going to be an explosion. Right. And then we're already ready for that. For so we're always stepping, we're moving a step ahead right. of the situation. We know the crowd of people we have. And uh, at this time, for three years, people have come to know us and know what we do. Gotcha. So uh, for the new ones that are just coming to know us the first time, uh, I believe that a trial will convince, convince you. Them. Okay, a trial will convince you. And just to follow up on that, uh, I know the joy of giving is a time. What happens after that? Is there a uh, registration we have by people who still need things uh, yeah. beyond the 17th of uh, December? Oh, well, yeah, like I said earlier on, uh, when they come in this coming Saturday, we have a different form that will allow them to fill for those people that want to, to be qualified for by weekly grocery. Okay. And it will not just limit on grocery alone. Once they come for grocery, we'll be able to, to see other things that they need mm -hmm. in the household, even if the children need a new shoe, sure. if they need a, lot, a, a shirt sweater, right. and, and, and I mean swimming suits, and we have everything. But... Uh, for those that will continue to come every other week, right. we'll be able to determine what they need. Yes, and as is. the need arises, we try to meet it. Meet them. Okay, okay, excellent. And these are all brand new clothes and shoes with okay. tags. Okay, all right, with tags. Okay, uh, so viewers at home, uh, if you want to uh, support, like I mentioned before, uh, like I said, it's brand new. So if you have brand new, you can go to the store and say, I'm going to just go shop for someone. You know, again, and uh, you surely will be blessed because you are giving away and you are, you know, blessing somebody in this uh, season of uh, giving. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more, you know, from the realms of this giving right. and talk about your ministry. Yeah. Uh, as uh, a pastor, a man of God in the community, uh, how much of these efforts, you know, vis-a-vis -vis input do you get into the government uh, to see how do they really partner with you to be able to really meet this need? Well, we've not been receiving much of anything from government. Uh, we... We work along with the government of the states to bring policies that benefit the public. Okay. Like the foreclosure assistant, uh, mortgage late, don't wait. And uh, uh, we continue to carry that to the grassroots. And any policy that we know, any information that we know will benefit the, 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 the community, we carry it and we spread it out. Right. Yeah. I haven't said that. Uh, I'm a little bit conversant with the... Uh, governor's office. I'm one of the appointed uh, uh, council member for the advisory council board of uh, Governor O'Malley okay. on the New America Initiative. Initiative. Okay, great. And uh, yeah. yeah, that uh, allowed me to know some of the policies and how quickly we can carry and disseminate this to the people Today. that truly really need it. Right. At uh, all the area of uh, health, fee, health care. How do we help them with some information resources that they can pick up and just get this affordable health and different level, every other thing that we know the government is doing. Right. So we, we, we do that as well. Okay. But uh, generally, receiving 
grant from the government. We're still writing grants, but <laughs> okay. we're expecting that something will come. come. Okay, exactly. Well, something will come. And uh, you know, so for viewers at home, uh, you can be an organization or even individuals. Uh, you know, we expect you to support such initiative uh, because they are a conduit that reaches out to the uh, members of the public, people you see on the street every day, and you don't know they are really aching. So again, it's just to make sure that at least they are able to really do more in their quest to really reach out to uh, a lot of people. So, okay. Pastor, uh, we're running out of time right now. Sure. Uh, now uh, do you have any final word for our viewers at home? Sure. I would just say that uh, if you have time, please come that day. Uh, you don't, everybody coming don't necessarily need to come and grab something. You just come and sh give two or three hours of your time. We'll appreciate it. And if you have an organization, non-profit organization, you want to team up with us, oh, yeah. we'll be glad to have you because there's strength in numbers. We'll Absolutely. be able to do much more than we are doing as a single individual, as a uni unit individual. And we'll, we are open now. We we'll just sit down and collaborate with one another. Well, I like that. Collaborate. Yeah. So if you have a non-profit out there, if you have a faith-based organization, this is a challenge to you to come out, you know, team and be able to create a synergy uh, that will be able to meet other needs. And I know uh, the, you know, the uh, advertisement was in one of the uh, Bowie Star today. And I saw that, uh, again, we're so happy to, to support uh, your organization in our little way. So, you know, to get the information out there. So, viewers at home, we're going to go and do some announcement. And the first announcement we're going to do, actually, is an event coming up today. Today is Thursday, uh, December the 15th. Uh, the Leon Sullivan Foundation is actually hosting an Honors Award in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, at the Marriott. So, they are hosting some of the uh, African leaders who have been able to make some contribution in their own different ways. Uh, you can go to Leon Sullivan Foundation for more details. And coming back home in Bowie uh, on December the 17th, uh, we are glad to say that the joy of giving, which is we are having a pastor today, uh, the Fountain of Life, Grace Springs Church, is presenting this event, uh, which is going to be starting at from 1 p.m. Uh, to 4 p.m., uh, so 5 p.m., so to speak. So please come out you know, and volunteer for this organization. And finally, I have an event which is uh, a Christian production by one of my colleagues, a co-producer right here. It's called The Unlikely Hero. Uh, this event is slated for Sunday, December the 18th uh, at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, it's taking place at the World Impact Christian Center, uh, which is based out of uh, Springdale in Maryland. Uh, go ahead and just see. It's a nice play. I had a little bit of, uh, you know, view. And uh, you sure be have a nice uh, thing for, for the family to do. So finally, viewers at home, uh, we have come to, another end, to the end of another session of uh, Global Culture. Uh, Shayu Opwell, who is actually bringing you uh, Citizen is Away, uh, hopefully she will be back next week to give you what is going on around in the city. So again, finally, Pastor Udukoya, we thank you for coming in today. And we wish you the best uh, for the joy of giving. I'm looking forward to hearing more from you. Thank you for having me. Yes. It's a pleasure. Thank you, sir. And viewers at home, finally, I'm signing out right now. Akin Wale Ojomo is my name. Uh, like I said, this is the season of giving. Just give something out to somebody, and you surely be rewarded for that. See you next time, and have a good night. This one goes to all my fellow Africans <laughs> living far away. Far away. Far and away. I don't let no coda be late. The little boss in your car. We know Lumbuba. Catch, 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 come up. This one goes to all my fellow Africans. <laughs> Living far away. Far away. Far and away from their hometown. I don't let no coda be late. The little boss in your car. We know Lumbuba. Catch, 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 come up. This one goes to all my fellow Africans <laughs> Living far away Far away Far and away from their hometown Ajo le no koda be late The little boss in your car We know Lumbuba Catch, 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 come up This one goes to all my fellow Africans <laughs> Living far away Far away Far and away from their hometown I don't let no coda be late. The little boss in me, oh, come. We know Lumbuba. Catch, 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 come up. This one goes to all my fellow Africans. <laughs> Living far away.
far away. Far and away from their hometown. Ajole no koda bile, bile la bossi mi yoko. Awi no lumbuba. Got you, got you, got you, got you, girl. This one goes to all my fellow Africans. <laughs> Living far away. Far away. Far and away from their hometown. Ajole no koda bile, bile la bossi mi yoko. Awi no lumbuba. Got you, got you, got you, got you, girl. This one goes to all my fellow Africans <laughs> Living far away Far away Far and away from their hometown Ajole no koda bile Bile la bossi mi yoko Awi no lumbuba Got you, got you, got you, got you, girl This one goes to all my fellow Africans <laughs> Living far away Far away Far and away